Is this a pack opening? No, this is Patrick. Is this Opal Pettit? No, this is Patrick. Is this Coldy uploading? No! This is Patrick! Oh. Played the game and I'm still the same and I never changed it to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing, yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion, bitch. Hey, what's up, guys? Henry the Blaze Jr. And as you can see in front of you today, we've got another player from the reward token market, that being 98 overall, pink diamond post god himself. Patrick Ewing. I was super excited when I saw this card because we were due for a new Patrick Ewing at some point, especially because we got that diamond. I don't even remember if it had any Hall of Fame badges, but I couldn't afford it and it just wasn't the card for me. But now that he's here in the token market for free, I'm with it. And huge shout out to 2K Man. They released a bunch of content today in the token market. And why I appreciate it so much is this is really going to be super rewarding for people that have been grinding out the game. There's no pay to win in this aspect. If you've been grinding tokens and triple threat and stuff like that, you can now be rewarded rewarded with these insane players but uh, enough talk for me guys i know you guys want to see the stats and then we'll go ahead and dive into the game with this post god so 99 offensive and defensive overall for this ewing seven feet tall 240 pound center uh look at the stats a 92 driving lamp on a big is amazing 98 post fadeaway and he has one of the cheesiest unguardable fadeaways in the game great post look and post control as well great draw foul 97 open mid 92 off dribble mid range for a big man i'm with it man he's also got an 84 open three hopefully that jumper isn't as horrendous as i remember it was uh 86 free throws also really nice 90 driving in contact with a 98 standing and the tendencies they're definitely there enough for him to be catching some bodies uh ball control is non-existent passing isn't too bad the defense is elite though 98 block and shot contest 68 steal is a bit on the lower end but no big deal 97 down the line on the rebounding is great he's got amazing speed for a patrick ewing's card 86 Six speed 87 acceleration can't complain about that great hustle great stamina great strength lateral quickness could use some work i think i'm gonna give him a shoe for that but hopefully he doesn't tweak any of his takeovers that he might have that i like but overall man that defense is looking amazing as well top to bottom he's an absolute monster and i'm excited to use him but we don't even stop at that man we still got to take a look at these hall of fame badges and he comes with 12 of them man brick wall bruiser chase down artist rim protector hustle rebounder which i really like up and under specialist and pick and popper drop stepper post spin technician relentless finisher and pick and roller and put back king okay there's a ton of badges there to read i keep thinking that was the last one i had to read it wasn't so you can see he's got the post badges defensive badges a pick and popper is always really nice on hall of fame and i also had to give him that silver limitless range i was surprised he didn't have defensive stopper so i gave him silver defensive stopper as well but overall he is looking like a monster i'm excited to see what this patrick ewing has got hopefully we don't run into pink diamond scotty and get dunked on that's a reference if you guys might have caught it but i'm excited to see what this ewing's got man so without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what patrick ewing has in store for us let's get into it all right and our matchup for today is looking like magic johnson roy paul george nate thurman at the four and kareem at the center position he's a tall center so that'll definitely be a good matchup here for patrick ewing all right, and here we go. Jump ball. Ewing is trying to win it, and we still lose it by jumping. That's embarrassing. Good steal there by Baylor. Oh, we got to go straight to JR. JR, get this team hyped up. You got the Knicks jersey too. I like it. Good defense there by Ewing. Not getting scored on. I like that. Let's go to Baylor. We got to push the pace. Everyone feels like they're running in mud today. Go straight into that pick and roll. He's reaching a lot. Hit that screen. Alley-oop right over Kareem to start the game for Ewing. Good defense there by Ewing. Getting the rebound. Let's push the pace right to Durant. Uh, let's see. JR trailing. Catch and shoot. He's making his debut today, apparently. Nice easy three. Good block there by freaking Ewing. Yo, he's playing defense. I'm liking it. If only he ran in transition a little faster. Easy pass inside. Easy layup. He's finishing it. Next time, please dunk it on whoever's under there. Let's try this alley-oop play and see if it works out. Go around here. Hit that screen. He's rolling. Alley-oop. Nice catch and nice dunk. Good defense there by Durant. Let's get there in transition. As you can see, Ewing does not have a post-score takeover. Still going to the rim, though, and putting it down on Dwight Howard. Get in the post, get in the post, get in the post, and then go to Ewing. Dwight Howard's not that tall, so we should be able to fade away on him pretty easy without a contest. Easy bucket. Good defense there. That's not going down. Get that rebound. Right now, Blake's getting a ton of the boards. You can see Ewing is already down the court every time. Going for the wild layup. Green bean and one. I 
don't even know what animation that was, but I'll take it. Taking a look at this free throw. Oh, they actually fixed this free throw. He's got a nice animation. I mean, I missed it because I had no idea what the animation was going to be, but I like that animation. Let's go right to Baylor. Uh, Baylor, let's go into a pick and pop here with Ewing to get this fourth quarter, or not fourth quarter, second quarter started. Pick and pop. That's a nope. slow jumper, man. I don't know if I'm feeling that that much. Pump fake. Blow by all the way. Drawing a foul. We'll get our second chance there at the free throw we missed earlier. Now that we know what that free throw actually looks like, this card is playing pretty good though. I like how he's playing on defense, on the boards. I like how he runs in transition. That's definitely a big part of his offense to me. Uh, let's push the pace here. Oh, Ewing's already down the court. See, again, what I like the most is the speed with this card, man. Come at me. Come at me. It's not going to work. Good defense there by Ewing once again, getting the board. Uh, let's push the pace. Who do I see in transition? JR, pump fake to Durant. Durant, off the dribble because you're a future Nick. Bang! Ewing's wide open. Pump fake. Is he biting? Nope. We're going to the rim, though. Easy dunk there. His speed with the ball is actually kind of fast. Move around. Blake, cut to the basket. There is no spacing in our offense right now. Go back to Ewing. Slash through. We're spinning. Pump fake to Blake. Easy dunk. We got to space the floor a little better than that next time. Nice rebound there. Let's get this second quarter going. We run in. Ewing, if you're open, I'll feed it to you. If not, I won't. Oh, that's an easy fadeaway on little-ass Brandon Roy. Thank you. Nice steal there. Push it right to Elgin. Elgin to Blake in transition. He's pulling up for a mid-range. I mean, he's hitting it, but just take two more steps and dump that ish. Nice rebound there, Blake. Let's keep pushing the pace. We're on a run right now. I see Durant on my left. Catch and shoot the future. Nick himself splashing the three. And just like that, our opponent has left the match. We go on one little run, and this guy already gives up. You guys already know this game's not going to be enough, though. Let's go ahead and let's hop into another one. All right, and our second matchup is looking like Magic, Ray Allen, Scottie Pippen. Again, he's got two bigs in Bill Russell, and this time Greg Oden, who's a really good center in the game. Ewing, let's get to work. Good defense, good defense, good defense. Ewing, protect that rim. There we go. Get that rebound, and let the, let's get this run going right away, man. I see Durant in transition. We're not playing around this game. Green bean for Durant to start us off. Uh, let's go into a quick pick and roll offense. I don't even know where his defense is. Is he running a zone? Oh, that was a nice pick. Now roll for me. All the way. No soft layups anymore, man. I gotta see some dunks, Ewing. Let's get Ewing in the post. I'm curious how he's gonna play against Odin. Get some good position, please. I don't want to turn the ball over when I pass it to you. The unguardable fadeaway was a little bit slow, but it's going down. Alright. Oh, Baylor's wide open. Why would you cut? I don't get why people cut while they're wide open. Thank you for staying in your one spot, Durant. And thank you for hitting that three, man. And just like that, this guy goes on a run. Uh, let's go to Baylor here. Go to JR Smith. You keep running. Go all the way. You and get open. Easy dunk, please. Thank you, bud. Give me that steal. Thank you. That was baited as hell. You and go all the way to the rim. Nice, easy dunk. This guy's a dribble head, but you know what? It's all good. <laughs> Yo, why are you jumping? You and you could have been there in case there was a rebound. I'll let it slide, though. You're already running down the court, and these fast breaks, they're just too easy. Why would you go for that animation? I just want to see some dunks. Good defense, Blake. Good defense, Blake. Get that rebound. There we go. Baylor's the one on the boards. He's got that Hall of Fame hustle rebounder. Not so much for Ewing. Get in the post here. We're going to finesse. Switch. Got him. I'm fading. Green. Bean. Uh, 21 seconds to go. Go there. Go right to a running JR. Go inside to Ewing. Ewing in the post. Oh, you got your takeover. Will you push him out of the way? No, you won't. You'll go right up, though, and finish it. I'll take that. Get Ewing posting up. We got four seconds. Pass to him inside. There we go. Unguardable fadeaway. That was an odd animation, but I'll take it to start the second quarter. Uh, let's keep it going, guys. Oh, wow. That was almost a steal. I forgot he was playing his zone defense. All good, though. Get right in the post. Inside to Ewing. That's an easy dunk and one. Thank you. Not gonna lie, this Ewing is really fast in transition, and that's really nice. That free throw, now that I know what it is, is also very nice. Ooh, he's got Hakeem. Is that the diamond or pink diamond Hakeem? I can't tell. It's looking like it's a diamond one. Let's finesse him. That fade away. Too much sauce, too many buckets. Nice rebound there, Blake. All right, uh, let's run. Baylor, don't be asking for the ball. Just run with me. Go all the way. Get in the post. Once again, we're fading. They're all behind me, so that's gonna be another easy bucket. He's pausing like crazy. Uh, let's go to JR. Baylor, I'm gonna need you to run. You're not gonna run? All right, let's go all the way to the rim. JR Smith's got that fadeaway too. We're not scoring with just Ewing. It's a fadeaway party with all these Knicks. Push the pace here, right to Elgin. I see Ewing already running. This is why you gotta stop with this full court defense, baby. Nice rebound there, Blake. Uh, right to Durant. Durant, all the way. Oh man, look at him. He's already under the basket in transition. I'm telling you guys, this card's fast. All right, it's only a six-point game, so let me not play too stupid here. Go right into the pick and roll. I'm throwing you some alley-oops, man. You want him? You got him. I'm throwing it. He's catching him, and he's finishing him. 
Looks like he's off-balling now on Ewing. That's honestly cool with me because you can hold all these pick and pops going all the way to the rim. Drawing a foul and we'll get some free throws here. If he's going to off-ball, we'll just score with other players. This Baylor is a card I've been liking a lot. I know I've only had him for a couple games, but he's been really good for me. I'm kind of glad I picked him. He's playing great at the point guard position, especially on defense. Start of the second half. We've been playing pretty good here with Ewing this game. I'm surprised this guy hasn't rage quit, but I realize it's also only a seven point game. Hit that screen. Get right in the post with Baylor. This card's got the sauce on the fadeaway too, baby. Come here. Good defense. Look at this. Baylor is climbing up magic. We got my boy here for the help. He's gotta go up. He's gotta go up. Good defense there by Ewing. Oh my God. The fact that that almost went into the rim on defense is wild. But to J.R. Smith, behind the back to Ewing. Slash through all the way. Putting it down on Bill Russell. Pick and pop with my two bigs. That's what I like to see. You can reach it all you want, Bill, but it's not going to work out. He's wide open. Finally, catch and shoot on that slow jumper, and it's still not going down, yo. I can't get the timing of that jumper. Magic, you're not going to be scoring on Baylor. He's a clamp god. What did I say? You can post spin on me all you want, but that Elgin Baylor is way too good on defense. He manages to get the shot off. Ewing's got the board, though, so we're all good. See who I see in transition? Another Nick. Catch and shoot. Oh, man, I can't even talk to keep up with how fast our offensive pace is. That's a steal. Thank you. Get baited. Uh, let's go to Durant. Ewing, I want to see you running as usual. All the way. Go for me. Oh, wow. He actually finished that layup in transition. I like it. Get in the post here. Finesse. Finesse, you can reach all you want. I'm fading away on both of you. Give me my buckets, please. Thank you. All right, Ewing. Let's get you posting up. I know you're tired, but let you, I know you got a little bit of energy left. Oh, let's fade away on that. That was a terrible shot, and it's somehow going down. I'm telling you guys, that fadeaway is just unguardable. And he's about to quit here, but you know what? I'm forcing you to sit through this whole game. Easy pass to CP3. Let's get this fourth quarter started. Not a very high-scoring quarter at all. He's playing pretty good defense. Hit that screen real quick, though. I see him rolling all the way. Nice dunk to get us started. Clamp up. Good defense. Good defense. Block that! Oh, that should have been a block. We should have gotten that rebound. What were you doing there, Larry? Kobe, pull that from deep. You know you got that. All right, Mr. 11 Rings, what you got? Give me that rebound. Thank you. Let's run it, boys. Uh, Ewing, I see you running. I'm getting it right to you. Blow by this Odin. I don't know you can. In the post. Easy fade away once again. Green. I'm going to feed him. Go all the way right to Ewing. They're really guarding Ewing at the three. I really want to shoot a three with him, but I can't. But we're tired as hell here. In the post. Keep finessing. Keep finessing. You're not going to stop me. Got him. Oh, fade away. Oh, too open. Another bucket. It's another easy bucket. If anyone's going to ice this game, it's going to be my boy Ewing. Foul him. Let him shoot the free throws. I got to get used to this release anyways. And then it's basically going to be game after this. But this Ewing, he's been playing pretty good. A little bit hard to grab rebounds with this card. But it's because he's a bit on the lighter side. Overall, though, he plays really nice. And as you guys can see, we go ahead and we win this game 68-60. to 60. Patrick Ewing was going off, whether it was in transition, the fadeaway, or the three-pointer that was just not going down for me. Either way, let's go ahead, let's check out the box score, and let's see how he did. All right, guys, and as you can see, man, in 20 minutes, Patrick Ewing came in and he put in the work. 47 points, 5 rebounds, an assist, 3 steals, which was nice, a block, 0 turnovers for a big is always really nice to see as well, 22 for 36 from the field, 0 for 3 from 3, which I'll explain a little bit more later, and 3 for 3 from the free throw line. So overall, that is a stat line I cannot get mad about whatsoever. Regarding the rebounds, I know he only had 5 rebounds, which was only one more than Elgin Baylor at point guard, but this card also wasn't under the rim most of the time when it when I needed a rebound sorry so it's not like I can be mad like my players were still grabbing rebounds it just wasn't you and grabbing the rebound and as long as I don't feel out rebounded by the other opponent then I can't really complain Ewing had five rebounds but they were the five rebounds I needed so I can't really be mad about that every other player grabbed the rebound when Ewing couldn't so I wasn't mad on the offensive or defensive end when it came to the rebounds but regarding that three-pointer guys it's not that the three-pointer is bad as you saw from that gameplay man I was just missed time it and it's also I realized a very easy shot to go ahead and contest whenever you need you guys saw that he was actually guarding me up at the three didn't really get many chances to shoot threes with him and I also am not used to the release man this is the first Patrick Ewing I'm using this year I didn't use that diamond one when it came out because he was going for way too much MT and at that point I lost interest in the card but when I saw this pink diamond man he was glowing and I think this card is definitely gonna be better than Hakeem not sure if he's gonna be better than Greg Odin just because Odin has a better release and stuff but I really like how fast this card runs down the court and everything if you got 150 tokens and you're looking for a big and you're deciding between tim duncan dikembe and ewing no 
question, you gotta go go ahead and pick up Patrick Ewing. He's got more Hall of Fame badges, better stats, and all around is gonna be a better card for your team. Now, this is going to conclude the end of the video, guys. So, as always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the Blazion Nation. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and take care.